Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to Why This Print Fail. Today, we are looking at one very common problem in 3D printing. Filament not sticking to the heat bed. To be honest, to print first layers filament that stick well to the heat bed is indeed a great challenge, let alone to achieve a perfect first layer. Even as decent users, sometimes we will still have to stop minutes after the printing just because the stubborn filament does not want to stick on to the heat bed. Thus, it is no surprise that most of them, especially beginners, suffer from the problem severely. We also seen some of them just decide to trash away their newly bought printers blaming for their bad and useless designs. So, in this video, we are going to show you on some of the solutions that you might do to make sure that the first layer sticks well to the heat bed and stop you from throwing away your innocent printer. Without further ado, let us get started. The first thing you must do to get a perfect sticking first layer is to really make sure that your heat bed is well leveled. By well leveled, we mean no gap between the nozzle and the heat bed at every four corners as well as the middle of the heat bed during Z height equals to zero. You can search for our previous video to guide you on how to do a proper heat bed leveling. Next, the second thing you can do to get a perfect sticking first layer is to ensure that the heat bed is heated up to the right temperature based on your printing material. The suitable heat bed temperatures vary across different types of printing materials. This chart shows the suitable range of heat bed temperature for each type of filaments. With proper heat bed temperature, the tendency of filament warping become less and thus increase its adhesion on the heat bed. Moving to the third thing you can do to get a perfect sticking first layer is to increase the first layer printing temperature. In the slicer setting, you will observe separated printing temperature for the first layer. This serves the purpose of enhancing better first layer adhesion. With a higher printing temperature, the filaments will be melted more, thus the sticking power will be increased. However, do not increase too much as you can overmelt the base layer causing elephant leg to your printing part. The fourth thing you can do to get a perfect sticking first layer is to disable or slow down fan during printing the first layer. This is because the fan cooling effect will cause the first layer to quickly solidify before it is able to stick on to the heat bed. Thus, for most of the materials, we will recommend to only turn on the fan after the first layer. You can easily change this setting under the cooling section at your slicer. The fifth thing you can do to get a perfect sticking first layer is to slow down the first layer printing speed to extreme. If you are printing first layer at high speed, the dragging force of the nozzle becomes greater, thus causing the filaments to be pulled off from the heat bed during its movements. Under the slicer speed section options, you can reduce the value for initial layer print speed. You can also manually reduce the printing speed using 3D printer screen interface options during the first few layers of printing. However, do not forget to manually adjust back the speed after the first few layers has done printing. The sixth thing you can do to get a perfect sticking first layer is to reduce the accelerations and jerks for the first layer. This is especially useful when you are trying to print small and sharp angle objects. If the accelerations and jerk for the first layer is very high, the printer will change direction very quickly causing the filaments to be dragged away from sticking to the heat bed. The seventh thing you can do to get a perfect sticking first layer is to increase the first layer's layer height. In the slicing setting, you can also observe layer height setting especially for first or initial layer. To get filament to easily stick on the heat pad, you can just increase this layer height for the first or initial layer printing. 
With thicker filament extruded in the first layer, it will also enhance the sticking ability of your printing part to the heat pad. The 8th thing you can do to get a perfect sticking first layer is to implement Jack Hope during the travel across each level. If you suspect that the movement of your nozzle scratch over the printed layer causing them to peel off, you can always enable this option in your slicer setting. This setting allows the nozzle to be lifted a little before traveling across already printed layer, thus preventing collisions with previous layer. The ninth thing you can do to get a perfect sticking first layer is to implement printing adhesion such as brim or rough. Brim or rough will generate an independent first layer before printing your 3D printed part. This creates huge adhesion area for your printed part to maximize sticking effect onto the heat pad. This method is extremely useful if you are printing objects with small base areas such as little fans or screws. The 10th thing you can do to get a perfect first layer is to clean the heat pad using acetone or water every time before printing. Dust or dirt that accumulate on the heat pad will greatly reduce the sticking effect of the filament onto the heat pad. This cleaning action will remove dust from accumulating on the heat pad thus enhancing the sticking effect of the heat pad. The 11th thing you can do to get a perfect first layer is to apply hairspray or glue stick on the effective printing area before printing. The sticking nature of the hairspray or glue stick will greatly improve the adhesion of your heat bed, thus causing your first layer filament to be easily stick for the whole printing sections. Some of the filament suppliers do provide their filament together with glue stick which we think is very nice and thoughtful. The 12th thing you can do to get a perfect first layer is to apply specialized strong adhesion material on your existing heat pad. This is a one-time change you can make to your heat pad to permanently increase the adhesive power of your heat pad. Examples of this kind of materials are such as PEI sheet, captain tape, or blue painter tape. We will strongly recommend PEI sheet if you are using normal smooth glass heat bed. A PEI sheet is cheap, easily applied, and have longer usage lifetime. The 13th thing you can do to get a perfect first layer is to stabilize your heat pad. Some design of the 3D printer's heat pad come along with springs that is very weak and springy. This causes the heat pad to be less stable and vibrate throughout your printing time. You can easily fix this by changing the spring of the heat pad to a stronger and stiffer springs. This kind of springs are also easily available in 3D printer accessory shop. One eternity later. The 14th thing you can do to get a perfect first layer is to enclose your 3D printer during the printing. This solution is especially critical for those who tries to print with the filaments that are highly sensitive to surrounding temperature such as ABS and nylon. If the temperature of the surrounding become cooler, these materials will immediately warp causing the first layer to be peeled off from the heat pad. So, by enclosing the printers properly, you can be able to maintain and reduce the fluctuation of the surrounding temperature, therefore decreasing the chance of the material swapping.
these are all the 14 things that we can think of to increase your chance of getting a perfect first layer at headshots. Of course, you do not have to pick up every solution to get your filaments stick onto your heat pad. Just try to pick up a few changes that you think is easily implemented at your site and you should be able to see the improvement in no time. Also, if you have any other brilliant ideas that we might miss out, please do not hesitate to list out and let us know in the comment section. You might be a hero and save the others from a lot of messy printings. Lastly, if you think that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friends. Your support is our main motivation to come up with more content videos like this. As always, thanks and happy printing.